So today, Super Mario 3D All-Stars has released, and I'm sure all of you guys are busy playing that game. Well, at least those of you that are interested, those of you that had your pre-order show up. I've heard so there's been some delays and some shipments, some not coming till Monday. I'm sorry. You know, that's just the way it goes with pre-orders sometimes. But at least you're getting the game. There's some reports going on out there that uh, Super Mario 64 is crashing Nintendo Switches. There's reports out there that uh, Super Mario Sunshine's frame rate is utter garbage. These reports are landing today on the launch of the game. And I'm here to tell you, it's complete and utter BS. All right, before we get into it, I do have two giveaways going on right now. I got a giveaway for three copies of Super Mario 3D All-Stars. And then a second giveaway for a Switch Lite and then two Switch games of choice. To find out how to enter, head down to the description. There's a whole bunch of ways to figure it out down there. All right, let's get into this report. So there's been a ton of people complaining that Super Mario 64 crashes when you try to leave the game. All right, so the, the, the idea is you're playing the game and then when you exit it, Boom, your Switch crashes. Uh, the other reports out there are that, man, Super Mario Sunshine's frame rate is just garbage. It's running in the single digits. Turns out, <laughs> if that's happening to you, or if you're hearing people complain about it, they are using custom firmware. This means they have hacked their Nintendo Switch. That's right. This does not happen on official firmware. It does not happen on official firmware. So the game comes with emulators. That's how the, that's how it runs. And I'm not sitting here to tell you to justify the emulation and not and that they're not technically ported or emulated. I'm, I'm not here to justify that, right? You do you, do you, you decide if the game's worth it to you based on what we know. But uh, custom firmware is uh, used to play the game. And uh, needless to say, it crashes it. So... Here is what is actually said from someone who's extremely tech savvy. He says, it's actually because official firmware 10.0.0 added a JIT module, which is used by both the emulators on the collection. Custom firmware that people are using to run their downloaded game doesn't contain this module, so everything goes to crap. In other words, custom firmware that exists on hack switches that is not up to 10.0.0, doesn't have this module now obviously the hackers have already worked around this having realized this they've gone ahead and patched in that module so now if you have the patched custom firmware on a hack switch you shouldn't have any issues and this was happening even when they put the retail copy in by the way so even if they had a hack switch and they didn't download the super mario 3d all-stars leak that happened earlier this week because yes the game did leak online even if they didn't download it it was happening when they put in the official cartridge as well. Probably why a lot of complaints popped up today. So my thing is, this is why you need to be very, very careful about this game. I have a theory why uh, why this started coming out and was coming exclusively from people who had hack switches. I think it was coming out because people are looking for a reason, any reason at all, to dogpile on Super Mario 3D All-Stars. I think the hackers that are not happy that these games are just literally emulated, they are not, uh, you know, remasters and remakes. Anyone who is disappointed in what these games are and what, what Nintendo didn't do to them is trying to find a way to drag the reputation of the games through the mud. Do not believe this, okay? If you have a regular Switch non-hacked like a majority of us do, you will have no issues running this game. You can run it whether you download the update for it or whether you don't because there is an update released to the, today for, for Super Mario 3D All-Stars. So whether you update it or not, doesn't matter. The game runs just fine. There is no crashing when you leave Mario 64. The frame rate is perfectly amazing in Sunshine. So take this kind of as a PSA. Super Mario 64 doesn't crash it. There's no frame rate issues. And hackers are just either frustrated because they felt like Nintendo did them dirty or they're just trying to ruin the reputation of this game. Nintendo did, you know, enough of uh, enough of a job 
of, of ruining the reputation themselves. You know, some people think it's too expensive at 60 bucks. Some people think that it's dumb that they're just emulating and aren't ported. Some people think it's dumb that, you know, Nintendo didn't fix some of the camera angles. Like Mario 64, guys, if it's today's the first time you've ever played Mario 64, let me tell you, Nintendo did not fix the camera. So the camera is still just as wonky as it was back in the N64 days. And the camera was not very good. It was not very good. We, we didn't complain about it back then because we didn't know better. We didn't know what good cameras were like in the 3D space because we were just getting in to 3D gaming on home consoles. But now we know it can be done better. We've seen it done better. I mean, the best camera in Mario to date is probably the one that's in Super Mario Odyssey. So there's slight camera twerks and issues with Galaxy as well and with Sunshine. But it's the worst in Mario 64. So yeah. Nintendo didn't tweak it. They didn't make the camera better. They didn't really do anything other than map controls to different buttons, right? You know, mapping, you know, Mario spin in in uh, you know Galaxy to Y. Like they just remapped controls, put it in HD. Uh, maybe reworked textures. I've heard some people say the textures were reworked. I'm gonna be honest. They just look like they took the current textures and HD'd them. Which you can argue they had to make new textures for that. I don't know. I'm not. A game developer i'm not sure what work they did behind the scenes i only know that you do not need to worry about these games crashing your switch it is utterly ridiculous to take the word of hackers when it comes to this hackers do some good things not all hackers are bad i'm not trying to trash people who hack their switches not everyone's using it to pirate games right people use it because they want to overclock their switch I think that's one of the coolest things that hackers do is when you run a hacked version of the operating system on your Switch, you can overclock your Switch to run at higher clock speeds, and your Switch will not overheat. I repeat, your Switch will not overheat. The Switch can output more raw processing power than it does currently with its current heat dissipation system with the fan. Nintendo doesn't do it because it hurts battery life. It also can make it a little warm to hold in your hand, but it's really not that bad, especially if you're in docked play. Unfortunately, unfortunately, uh, Nintendo cares about the battery, and they, they care about that heat dissipation, a little, maybe a little too much. But that's one of the cool things you can do. You can add custom themes to, to your system. You could add a music player to your system so you can play background music while you're playing games. You can literally boot Android into the dang thing, and play Netflix on your Switch if you want. Like, there's a lot of cool things hackers do with Switches, and it's perfectly legal to hack your Switch. However, if you did, and you're having issues with Super Mario 3D All-Stars, go around the internet, try to find the patch. And if not, well, sorry. You should have hacked your Switch in the first place. I know personally, um, as cool as it would be to hack my Switch, I leave my Switch be. I've thought about buying a second Switch so I can have a hacked one so I can, like, see what potential, you know, I, like, actually see and not just see, but actually make videos about what a potential minor upgraded Switch Pro could do, which could just be higher clock speeds with, with, with a more heat-efficient chip. I've, I've thought about doing something like that, but I've decided that instead of that, I'd rather just stick with what I got, stick with what I know, trust in Nintendo, uh, and just wait and be patient. That's a personal choice of mine, but it is a neat content idea I've had sometime. You know what? Maybe if some of you guys out there have a hack switch uh, that, that you're willing to, to donate my way, uh, hey, you know, contact me at Nathan at NintendoPrime.net and, and so I could do maybe do some overclocking tests and see how it affects games today on Switch and see uh, what that could mean for the future of Nintendo. Anyways, uh, that's all I got for you guys today. Well, not that's not all I have today. That's all I have for this video, though. Uh, so thanks for tuning in, and I will catch you in the next one.